there seems to be a pattern to the lines in the sand. But if there is a pattern, it's smeared. There's only one small area that's clearly defined. Hmm, let me try to get this down. The partial pattern from the crime scenes intrigues Gabriel. What does it mean? It's very large grass. Gabriel is already magnifying the grass. There are marks in the grass as though some heavy wire object had been set there. The marks are part of the grass and do not move. Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to take the small iridescent scale. I think it's a snake scale, but it beats the hell out of me what can. Lake Pontchartrain is impressive. It measures 24 miles across and stretches as far as the eye can see. But you wouldn't want to swim in it. Hmm, is that clay? Yuck. Gabriel wouldn't get far on foot. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. Hey, mostly. Yeah, yeah, what is it, you wanker? Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. What can you tell me about voodoo? There's voodoo that goes on in this city, sure. I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all fake. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know, I asked some experts. It's intimidation tactics, that's all. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. Can you be more specific? Do you know anything about the killers? At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scene. Footprints? Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be. But we'd have to have a suspect in custody first. And the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. 
These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's maddening. Like they know we'll never find them. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the Voodoo Murders case. Now, the first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. The M.O. was the same in each murder. Lake Ponchar Train was a seven. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints, a few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur? Describe the crime scenes. Now there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks of flour and blood. There are traces of wax from candles, red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens. Also goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. What's the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Oh, lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Any witnesses? Nope. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard a disturbance. It's damn weird. Like they just don't want people to see, and so nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of towners. We still don't know why. Oh, nothing, never mind. Sure, no problem. What can you tell me about New Orleans? You and me grew up together, you tell me. It's a pretty nice place, even seeing the stuff I see. You know, the quarter's getting a bit too wild, though. Getting hard to control. Not quite what it was when you and me used to hang here, but... Hell, I've never known anything else. Do you know anything about snakes? The only thing I know about snakes is I don't like them. What's the status on the Voodoo Murders case? It's going. Can't seem to make any progress, though. Sluggish damn case. It's weird. Tell me about yourself. For the book? Sure, why not? Okay, what do you want to know? How'd you like working on the police force? Are you kidding? You know I love being a cop. In New Orleans, it's the best place in the world to be one. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I don't like to count my chickens before they're hatched, but... I don't see why I can't be the chief of police in New Orleans someday. I already know the mayor, and my record is one of the best in the department. I'm sure it's just a matter of moments, mostly. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. Got any hobbies? Yeah, making your life miserable. I'm serious. Don't you shoot or chew or something like that? No, I'm a freaking ballet dancer. Chief. Yeah, I was number one at the Louisiana State Fair Marksman Contest. I play trumpet, too. You know, put your lips together and blow. How's your home life? Oh, real funny, Knight. Why don't you just bring in some freaking salt? Well, you know Annie left me. My home life is shit. Right. Sorry about that. Just tell me anything at all. Remember how we used to play Monkey in the Middle? <laughs> we used to piss off our senior year teacher. What was her name? Ms. McKelly? You'd act like you were gonna toss her an eraser or something. Then you'd throw it to me over her head. 
And we used to do it at your grand's, too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch her soaps. Yep, and it was a great way to pick up women in the library, huh? Oh, those were the days. Oh, nothing, never mind. It's your dime. How about getting me some coffee? Coffee? You want coffee? Should that surprise you? Nah, you've always been a caffeine addict. It's just that what we got here hardly qualifies. So, I'm desperate. It's your stomach. I'll get you some when we're done talking. That long? All right, I'll go now. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Moosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. Here, drink it. Thanks. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah, weird, huh? All seven victims had those little marks around. We got all the marks on file, but we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Can I see the other six patterns? Uh, sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Might make the book seem more mysterious. Go talk to Officer Franks. Tell her I said you could see the fire. The suit does. Excuse me, officer. Yes. Can you get a file for me? What file would that be? The voodoo murders file. Detective Mosley said I could see it. Really? Well, if he said so. There it is. You can look at it all you want, but don't leave this area with it, okay? And no photocopies either, I'm afraid. Of course. I understand completely. There's nothing. The police file contains partial patterns from the first six voodoo murders. It's an inbox. I'm done. Yeah, thanks. The door works pretty well where it is. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. I got those photographs you left for me. So you said. Did you think of any other shots for the book? Let's take another cop author shot. What for? I don't think we got your best side. Really? Okay. I'll have Franks come in again.
Franks, come back in here with that camera. Now what, sir? That clown wants another picture. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. What else could I possibly have to do? Anything else, Knight? Hold on a sec while I go check my hair. Good God, Knight. Make it fast. Let me see that file again. Just want to check this machine here. Gabriel has a photocopy of the official police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murder. Would you just get in here? Hurry up, would you? Okay, ready. Thanks, hon. Let me know when you got it developed. Uh, the photos, that is. Yeah, sure. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. I'll let you get back to it. Later, Knight. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask what you want, I'll answer what I want. Can you tell me what you know about voodoo? This is a novelty shop, monsieur. Do you know anything about snakes? What kind of snakes? Um, the kind they use in voodoo? Pythons and boas. So I've heard. Really? Do you have one? Are you crazy? What would I want with a python? Tell me about yourself. My name's Willie Walker. I own the place. The mask appears to be made from a real crocodile head. In this case are super concentrated fixing oils and packages of pins. The glass jars contain a number of things Gabriel can't identify. And wouldn't want to. A variety of cloth dolls are arranged above the shelf. Each impaled with a single silver pin. The signs say, 
special Saint Jean Eve Lanyape free bottle of lover come back to me oil or master gambling oil with every purchase over fifty dollars. Lanyap, my French is lousy, but everyone in New Orleans knows what that means. A little something extra. Would you mind taking a look at this photograph? Cabri saint -Cour. Cabri saint -Cour. What does that mean? Nothing. I didn't say anything like that. You heard me wrong, man. Can you tell me anything about these murders? Does any of this voodoo stuff around the body look familiar to you? Don't you come in here asking me about this stuff, yeah? 20 years I run a respectable curio shop in the French Quarter. That don't mean I know about dead bodies and all this, this... Forget it, man. humid out there. Made it back, though. Really? I forgot you were gone. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Uh, never heard of it. It must be a local custom. New Orleans love any excuse to celebrate. Do you know what Cabri Saint Cœur means? Hmm. No. Sounds French, though. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you could get an address... Mm-hmm. They're murders. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? I can't think of anything. Okay. Well... Oh, it's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And uh, try not to dream, okay? <laughs>